He didn't even get to make it out of the neighborhood. And Check Check has already given us a response. Streetwear, sneakers, and vintage clothes have always been a part of my life. Now they're helping me build a community and support those I love most. When I left the military, I started reselling vintage as a side hustle. And when both my parents were diagnosed with cancer within the same year, that side hustle became a way to give back. With this series, I'm going to show you how to turn this? clothes Enough. into cash. Oh my god. I guess I'm going to be counting tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cry. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys some shoes that I picked up in Houston. Pull the black blade out like young King Arthur. Show you guys what I picked up. By the way, these shirts right here, I'm gonna be showing those off in a trip to the thrift coming very soon. Not in there. Here we go, the Crawfish Nike SB Dunks. Now this shoe was released in 2014 in collaboration with Ruckus Board Shop down in Louisiana. And I believe that is why they chose to have some sort of a crawfish theme. For example, Paul actually brought up that this looks like corn on the cob, which is very fitting. And he even theorizes that this metallic toe box is actually supposed to represent the pot that you boil the crawfish in. Honestly, I would prefer more of like a flat gray instead of metallic. Now, like I said, I bought this in Houston, Texas. I had no plan on going sneaker shopping in Houston. In fact, I even filmed a quick little clip saying that I have no idea what video this is gonna go in. I had no intention of doing some sneaker pickups, but I'm in Houston visiting Paul. I don't even know what video this is gonna go in. At Bounce Back Vintage just got these crawfish. If y'all never ate some crawfish, man, I'm telling you. Come down, shout. Put some <laughs> come, crawfish in your come mouth, down to Houston. It. <laughs> and I kind of just figured I would throw that clip in a huge sneaker unboxing that I did not plan on filming anytime soon. However, while in Houston, I actually had Check Check reach out to me. Now, Check Check has reached out to me in the past, and at the time, Check Check was still relatively new. So I didn't really have anyone to reference and co-sign and make sure like, yo, is this app good? However, I was literally in Houston, Texas, with my bro Paul, who happened to film a video for Check Check. So I asked him his opinion and he gave them the co-sign, which made me even more comfortable to check them out. Now, although at the time of purchasing, I was fairly certain they were legit because they came from a legit source. You can never really be too careful nowadays. I just wanted to have that added sense of security. I downloaded Check Check, I bought some credits. And while I was at Paul's house, I took some photos. I got pictures of the insole, the tag, all the details of the shoe. The only thing I did not have was the box. And for those of you guys that are still curious whether or not these are legit, we're gonna have to travel back in time and show you guys some of the footage from Houston where I got them legit checks and just submitted all of the evidence to Check Check. He didn't even get to make it out of the neighborhood. And Check Check has already given us a response. Says the Nike SB Crawfish was a pass. Like no stress, no bitches, no love. Bitch, I'm from the city, why you gotta keep it gone? This would low-key go with those mustard pumas that I just showed you guys. The first stop I find a shoe that I've been looking for is size 9.5, the Carpet SB Dunks. We also got this vintage tee rolling hard. I really want these, these are fire. All right, boys, we got the Carpet SB. Then we got a little vintage tee. Man, I've actually been wanting these. If you guys are within the Discord plus one, you guys know I have talked about these. I definitely got these for a good price. Shout out Full Court. Now I'm just gonna take some photographs. Upload it to check check and then we're gonna hit the next location. That's right. Should I drive while I do this too? Why the f is you driving, dude? This is kinda pissing me off that like you're kinda just sitting here slacking while I'm doing all this work. Let's go through your outfit quite nicely, Jacob. You like my outfit quite nicely. Oh look, look at that insult. Damn. Damn. What if we get like this hyped and then they're fake? <laughs> Damn, these are hard. Damn. Damn. Fake it. <laughs> Alright, just submitted these beauties to check check. Now we're gonna go to the next location while we wait for the official word as to whether or not these are legit well, leaving sneaker summit and the carpets passed oh. no. all right so the next location is faculty hype or club never it's kind of like two wrapped into one you have some retail and you also have some resale there is one blank space in the wall and knock one of the shoes off but these are the shoes that are we buying these come out i believe april 29th uh, since i cannot afford the travis scott's this is the next best option and they have them early i also got these shorts i'm gonna show you guys these right here are gonna caress my beautiful thighs it's about uh, time you show off that kneecap boy the issue is i recently had to shave the bottom half of my legs for a Gucci shoe. They definitely have some heat though. I remember almost buying these right here. <laughs> You want me to get them, brother? Yo, I almost bought these. They were like 300. Bro, those look like a disco ball, man. I'll put on some parachute pants <laughs> and hit my jig. I have these at home. I got these at home. That's a steal. These are hard, actually. Damn, they don't have a size nine and a half. What type of fur is that, bro? This is a polar bear pubic hair. My bro Paul told me that I need these. Huh, already got them. You got that color, though? Oh, I don't have that color. My point exactly. It's kind of cool that they have like a mix of stuff. It's fitting we're talking about Check Check right now because they actually use Check Check as like a second means of authentication. So they look at it themselves, they verify that it's good, and then they submit it to Check Check just to get that extra second pair of eyes. Even if they know it's legit, they submit it to Check Check just because they know their customers are going to leave and submit it to Check Check. It's crazy. 
This is cool. You can come in here now. You can hit all three. You can hit vintage. You can hit retail. You can hit resale. Run that city. Why you gotta keep a gun? Run it cold like no hard go gun. If you run up on me, you gon' die, young bitch. I'm from the city. Why you gotta run it up? My ex bitch. No nigga here a pump. My no bitch. Paul got some goodies. I got some goodies. Thank you guys. For real, I appreciate you guys. This is dope. I'm, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Thank you. I knew there was something up there when I saw that sign and all that shit. I was like, hold on. But yeah, thank y'all so much. All right, much love you guys. Thanks again. Where it all started is where it all ends. Back at Bounce Back. Ooh, back at Bounce Back. Bounce Back. Bounce Back. Are there shoes in the back? Kind of a mess because we've been buying like crazy. All right, so we're in the back secret location. Hitting pretty nice, boys. I honestly prefer the lows over the highs, although I do have the original Jordan ones at home. Kind of curious to see what they're going to do for these. They're in great condition. What they smelling like, bro? I don't want to smell them. Come on, man. Just give it a whiff one time. Yo, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about, boy. Hey, this dude's next up. Oh, I me. Have my eyes off. Next up. Bro, what y'all got in that Jesus uh, Lightning seat? No. So there, dog. Yeah, I'm like, we're saving that for tomorrow. I think we're gonna add thousand on it. You got so, that? One just so, yeah, you got that. That ain't nothing. You bro. pay thousand dollar for tees every day. Hey, hey. you got that. But yeah, we're hey. <laughs> shout out to bounce back. They said I could have this whole wall. It's gonna take this. Go ahead and take it all, Jacob. Just get out of here and take you it. You heard it. Cause I do appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. You too, brother. Turn it in the front. Bye, Jacob. It's After a long day of sneaker shopping, me and Paul Cantu's wife match. We have matching denim jackets. Time to eat some fried avocado tacos. Time to slurp them. Okay, so right here, being that this was like right before I left Houston, I had to ship a lot of shoes back. So I am going to go through some of the other sneaker pickups that I got. But there's one sneaker that I could not find out there that a local friend of mine says she has. You guys may know who it is, but hopefully it fits. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I've wanted this sneaker for so freaking long. What up, man? How's it going? Amazing, amazing. Hey. Oh, what's up? I talked to Tia. I called her while I was in Houston. I said I was looking for these, and it just so happened she had three pairs coming in. She also has all my size. size. Yeah, all my size. All nine and a half. And she has my other Grail sneaker, the Tiffany SB Dunks. The other ones are pre-owned too, right? In my size? Worn once. Literally, like, could pass. Oh, yeah. Those are going to be too expensive for me. <laughs> Man, this is, like, one of my all-time Grails. And if you guys saw that recent Complex video, I literally said I had to pick any Supreme sneaker to actually show off. It's one that I wouldn't have, which would be the Quilted Blazer SB. <laughs> He's like grabbing your foot. Do you mind holding this? Okay, so there's the white pair. There's all three white colors. Pair. This is the only one that doesn't have the OG box. She wants me to get all three pairs, but I'm not rich. Fall out. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Literally someone just came in and asked how much do these go for? And I was like, don't answer that because I don't know <laughs> what she's going to charge. So I was going to list the red pair at 18 and then these two at 15 each. You're the homie, so I'll hook you up. You can get them for like zero. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? <laughs> this guy always tries to get free shit. Stuff for me. Last time I was in here, I got those new balances. I wish I would have filmed that. I tried to hook him up. I asked him what he wants to pay, and then he tells me nothing. What's your budget, Mr. Baller? Um, would you do 1100 for these? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so 1100 for these. Okay. What would you do for all three? <laughs> okay, so now it's going to be a price range, huh? Yeah. Okay, so after much deliberation, I decided to just get these. I got my grail. This is my favorite colorway. It's kind of between this and the red ones. I'm going to get these legit checked just to make absolute sure. There is no box. Obviously, you guys know where I'm at. I'm at Sneak City. A legendary place. I am going to submit these to check check. I already did the crawfish, and of course, I did the carpets as well. So I'm going to just show you guys. All right, so first, of course, you take your images. Bam. Inside label. Camera. Hit that 2-5 zoom. Damn, it's almost like when you put his foot in here he like laid the tag flat back of insole insole stitching or as my brother paul would say from the last video stiach all right so i do not have the box label or date code so we're just gonna take some extra photos what if i just give him like some obscure photo like this they're probably gonna want both sides of the shoe oh good point all right next we're just gonna use the re-credits hey hey i think the extra photos are Ooh, what's submitted? There we go. Holy shit balls, that was quick. So if you guys look right here, the screen recording video saved two photos three minutes ago. If you guys look, this freaking passed in literally two minutes. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. There is this pair right here, which we'll talk about in a moment, but you're a legend. Legit just, only just... Sneak City. She still has to film a video with these because she's waiting on the rest of the collection that she bought. Although I now officially am the owner of my grill sneaker, I can't take them home. I'm gonna have to bid farewell to my beauties, but they are legit. It's too legit to quit. And I do have some other shoes to show you guys that I purchased. Bye, Moscow. Later, guys. Peace I love you. Up.
Okay, we got the shoes. My apartment is finally clean. I actually have a lot more sneakers to show you guys than just the ones that you guys saw in this video. I wanna say, I woke up this morning and this is the first time I've ever really felt like a sneakerhead. And you guys know, I tend to focus on reselling. It's one of the reasons why I started Plus One. I'm so passionate about Plus One because for me personally, reselling has been a way for me to provide for my family. And it's so dope to see other people join Plus One, get into reselling and then make a side hustle to provide for them and their family as well. And we don't just do clothes, we do sneakers, anything you can resell really, GPU, Playstations. If there's something reselling, we're gonna talk about it in Plus One. If there's space available, there will be a link in the description to join Plus One as well. But I just feel like I've always strayed away from that sneakerhead title. There's always been a level of like snobby bitch assness amongst sneakerheads. It's almost as if they feel like they are above others because they have more knowledge about sneakers or because they've been into it longer. I've seen so many old heads talk about, oh, it's not the same as it used to be back in the Nike talk days. To me, that line of thinking is just so far lame. I talked about this on the complex video. I would literally go from house to house with a plastic bin of my sneakers, my backpack and my bike. That's literally all I had to my name before I joined the military. So I see these guys hawking shit and acting like they're better than others. And I just think like, you fucking suck. But I've always been into shoes. I mean, if you guys look back on the channel, there's videos in like 2015, 2014 of me showing off blazers. Really even in 2013 when I first started the channel. You know, I was never really into Jordans growing up, but the reason I got into sneakers at the time that SBs were popping in 2008 was because I was into BMXing and I wore a lot of skate shoes. So SBs were just like a cool skateboard shoe. And although I will always appreciate Dunks, Dunks will never have the same special place in my heart that Blazers have. It's one of the reasons why still to this day, I go cop Blazers that anyone can probably go find at their local skate shop. I just bought these from 35th Ave yesterday. 35th Ave is a local skate shop here in Washington. Even that felt really good going back into 35th Ave after so long and buying a sneaker there. I know it sounds weird, but the nostalgia of it felt kind of cool. 35th Ave and Northwest Snowboard were the places that I went to get my shoes. And sadly, Northwest Snowboards is no longer a thing. Northwest Snowboards is the first place I ever saw the Nike SB Tiffany Dunks. It just felt good waking up and having this sneaker that's an all-time grail for me that I don't plan on selling and I literally bought it for the intention to admire and wear it. I can't lie, like I can't even explain the feeling. It sounds fucking weird. Like I've said before, like I take care of my family off reselling. So that much money on a personal piece almost makes me feel kind of guilty, but at the same time, it also makes me feel good that like I am at a point in my life where I'm able to provide for my family and still acquire this shoe that's an all-time grail, which I sadly don't have on me right now because Tia still has to shoot the video for it. Getting into some more of the sneakers that I picked up in the last like week or two, we have the Nike SB Golf Dunks. Now this particular pair is modeled after a Porsche 917 and it dropped alongside the Pink Pigs, I think they're called. It has this like all over pink suede with this red contrast stitching. Both of these shoes are a lot more like subtle than the majority of SB Dunks. Like I said, a lot of SB Dunks have these like crazy themes. This one, it's a shoe where you may know nothing about the origin of this theme and just like the shoe. Like I said, both of these shoes are modeled after a Porsche 917, I believe. The Pink Pig is modeled after a particular pink Porsche 917 that was called the Pink Pig due to the body style and it having this really wide body and resembling that of a pig. This one is referencing another one that has this blue and orange colorway throughout the entire race car. And just like this has numbers on the lateral side and the tongue, the Porsche 917 that this is referencing also has numbers on the hood and the side of the vehicle. These numbers are significant. It's 58, which 58 is the numeric version of SB, but it's also kind of a nod or a homage to Club 58, which is a skate collective they've collaborated with before. I believe in 2018, they did some mossy green blazer. <laughs> Anyways, another pair that I got, which is, is a pair that I had legit check through, check check, which I talked about earlier. Super useful, by the way, being able to walk into a sneaker store and literally get it legit check on the spot just to have a little bit more confidence when you buy is fucking dope. I mean, they responded to all of them fairly quickly. The only one that kind of took a while were these Jordans that we thrifted. We had no box. The condition was really terrible. And at the time, me and Paul were kind of going back and forth as to whether or not we thought they were real or fake. And that was the only one that Check Check said, we're not sure. We obviously don't have enough information. We don't have the box. The tag was really hard to get a photo of. This particular shoe, I don't know the owners of that store, but I do know the individual who had these said that he knows the people from this company, which is a Baltimore skate shop. It features the Carpet Sea Star logo on the lateral side of the heel. This sneaker is actually super cool and complex. There's so many details about this shoe. Basically, the sneaker features two layers of graphics. So you kind of have this screen material, which 
you can kind of hear and that has its own graphics but then underneath if you look carefully you can even see like a little character because this is somewhat translucent so it features two layers of graphics and essentially over time this outer layer will wear off and tear away to feature the second layer of graphics that's not necessarily anything too crazy but the fact that this is translucent and features two patterns to make this is kind of sick and then it has this aged midsole with this like suede panel and on the back you have what almost looks like medical gauze and you can actually tear this away you have some embroidery on the inside the details to this is super dope shout out to full court by the way he actually gave me some stickers it's like a grip tape sticker from carpet company and then this carpet sticker as well i also got these jordan 4 university blues now some of you guys may be confused this sneaker hasn't released yet but as you guys saw faculty hype got some early pairs so of course i had to pull up and get a pair huge shout to faculty hype and the team over there you guys are fucking dope but this shoe releases april 28th on most of the websites at 10 a.m eastern standard time this is gonna be a good shoe to go for whether you are a collector or reseller i will say this thing in hand is gorgeous and the quality of the suede is amazing from a collector's perspective the fact that it uses the white cement midsole is dope you have the cement splatter i'm not the biggest fan of jordan 4s especially i'm more of a jordan 12 kind of guy which i know is super weird probably to most people hearing that even right now after the europe release and early access it's still holding its value fairly well it'll probably dip a little bit lower and then i think over time it'll be a shoe that goes right back to where it was now if you're only going to wake up wednesday morning and try to get on nike sneakers and get this shoe i'm telling you guys check out plus one that is my personal cook group that's not just like a group i'm a part of like it's my baby it's my child i push it out of my urethra and of course for all of our members we offer complete sight list complete raffle list a lot of the raffles are already over and of course we also offer slots for our members as well and i already know the aco providers are going to be cooking up some university blues for our members so definitely check out plus one but yeah man this thing is freaking beautiful like i said man shout out to faculty high super cool team not to mention they actually gave me these which as you can see has this beautiful floral tapestry that matches your grandmother's thong collection and they gave me and the homies this hat this hat is super sick it's got like a satin underbrim cn not cartoon network but club never strap bag made by ebbets field in the us of a we do have some other sneakers as well we have these kim jones converse kim jones being a designer for christian dior, dior. it's one of the only w's i've ever taken on nike sneakers and i posted this on my story and a lot of people were like yo what are those or they were like yo those look so much sicker in hand by the way if you guys don't follow my story make sure you do that a lot of people have been loving the content so i'm gonna be posting more clothes and sneakers to the story for you guys to see so if you guys are wondering about certain things that i may be wearing or certain sneaker pickups you're gonna see it on instagram first and i think that'll make me look a little bit taller so that way i can match my tinder profile baby anyways we also got a pair of reese cooper hiking boots i told you boys we're not just doing the regular sb this sb that bullshit we're showing off a little bit of everything you got these reese cooper hiking boots natural colored suede on the upper you have these little harnesses back here where you can lace the boot up little forest green hits of suede on the back heel tab right there and then of course this all black midsole it's a vibrant sole purchased these like a month ago a lot of people on the discord were low-key planning on me for getting these but if you guys have been following the channel you guys know this is like a jacob sneaker i'm gonna actually take these to the mountains and i do fuck with what reese cooper is doing so i'm honored to have these in the collection and then last up for those of you guys that did not watch the trip to the thrift i wanted to kind of address this beautiful puma suede right here i actually bought these from finish line i was doing a video for puma and they sent me a couple pairs of puma suede however they said they could not send this pair until may and i was not gonna wait till may so i got this pair i do have some other colors as well if you guys want to see more of those definitely check out that video i feel like this shoe is so slept on this silhouette in general is just so clean and so simple just like i appreciate the blazer sb for its simple clean silhouette it's one of the reasons why i appreciate this shoe so much like, i think these shoes are dope and the fact that they're doing some pretty sick suede colorways makes me excited i know i could have waited till may and not purchased these but i'm a firm believer any sponsor that you guys see on this channel is a sponsor that i genuinely rock with i'm not gonna put on for a service or brand if i'm not willing to spend my own money on that service or brand like i said earlier when check check first reached out to me i wasn't too sure but like i said they've gotten a lot of cosigns from people that i know would not put their name behind something that was not legit and that's one of the reasons why i agreed to talk about check check throughout this video and use their service and after using their service i will say it is a very useful service and it is mind-blowingly easy all you have to do is download the app once you download the app you purchase credits the return time of your legit check determines how many credits you use for each legit check for me personally i just use three each time because i didn't want to wait over 30 minutes and i was getting them legit checked at a sneaker store they literally tell you exactly what they need pictures of and not to mention the app actually has examples so that way if you are unsure what they mean by the actual little diagram they give you you can just reference those example photos and for me personally although i was getting all of these shoes from reputable sources it still made me feel better having that added level of security knowing someone else looked at my shoes and made sure that they were okay because there's always human error and no matter how good someone is it's always better to make sure shit is double and triple checked especially if you're like me and you don't really know too much about legit checking so check out check check that feels weird to say top link in the description of course thank you guys so much for the support i do appreciate it this video has been fun 
fun to make and hopefully you guys smash the like button. Hopefully you guys support the video. But yeah, man, as always, keep living the star life. I appreciate you from the top and bottom of my heart and peace the fuck out. Star life, Chris say shooting on Mets. God, these thoughts been ran through. God damn it, like Becky Chief keep dropping. I don't like that shit. Lil Reese in the cool clip, do a bad flip.